Hello. If you haven't already viewed Emma Walker's presentation on career counselling and waste, I would highly recommend that you do that before you actually watch this presentation as she gives a broad outline and context of waste and um, career education and I will be doing a much more specific um, part of the presentation along with Kelly Lee. To introduce ourselves more formally, my name's Kelly Martelli. I'm the VET coordinator at Fremantle College and I work with Kelly Lee, who is a student support officer, primarily for workplace learning. And we have a third team member, Brittany Sanders, who is the administration officer. What is VocLinks? So VocLinks is a program where your child can actually gain a qualification which will help them in their career pathways. It is an external qualification that's delivered either out of school or at school. There are certain requirements for your student to participate in the VocLinks program and that is that um, they need to demonstrate consistent attendance and a commitment to a strong work ethic. They also are required to attend either a workplace or TAFE at least one day a week and some of the programs require that to be two days a week. And this is delivered alongside their for and the application process Kelly Lee will talk about later in the presentation in more detail. What is a VET qualification? VET, first of all, stands for Vocational Education and Training. And it's actually a qualification, is a certificate that's nationally recognised within a specific industry. Students getting a VET qualification are actually gaining knowledge and skill-based learning. They could participate in a VET qualification at school, at Fremantle College, where they can um, enrol in a particular certificate course, which is a part of their schooling, or they could enrol in a TAFE course. These are called profile courses. They're funded by the Department of Training and Workforce Development, and they will attend either South Metropolitan TAFE or North Metropolitan TAFE, and you have to actually apply for this and gain a position. They may also enrol in a with a private registered training organisation, but that requires um, parents to actually pay for this. It's a fee for service, and it's not funded by the Department of Training and Workforce Development. Students may also apply for a school-based traineeship, where they go into the workforce for at least one day. They're actually paid for this work, and they may this may require a day in a TAFE as well, or they may get the qualification while they're actually doing work in the workplace. They may also participate in what's called a PACE, which is a pre-apprenticeship in schools program, and this has a mandated number of work hours actually associated with this. How do students apply for TAFE courses? Announcements are published on Connect and you really need to look out for them because often it is a first come, first served basis and there are only particular numbers for these enrolments and once they're full and they have suitable applicants then they will actually close them. Um, I've recently found out from the state training providers that they are hoping to publish and to give schools their list of profile courses or TAFE courses that students can participate in for next year by the end of week seven. So that's by the end of this week. We should know the list of courses available, but the actual applications won't open until sometime in week 10, and then they'll close in September. For a student to be successful in one of these TAFE applications, um, it will be recommended that they have a current resume, that they have a USI, which is a unique student identifier, and students will be helped to gain this throughout weeks eight and nine as they're doing career education planning in their HASS subjects. They also require a goal statement. The goal statement is a short statement stating why they've actually applied for this particular qualification and any experience they may have in that relevant industry um, as this will actually help them to apply for and gain success in 
their application process. I'd like to now introduce you to Kelly Lee again, who will be talking about workplace learning and the application process itself in more depth. Okay, so what is workplace learning? Workplace learning is an endorsed program. It's a program that can even earn students points towards their waste achievement. At Fremantle College, workplace learning is governed by the Vocklinks program, Kelly and myself, um, and it is a program where the students will need to engage in the workplace one day a week at least. Um, to gain those transferable skills. To reach optimal achievement in the program, students will need to attend each day in the workplace. They'll be issued with a logbook where they will need to record the hours that they're attending and have that endorsed by their supervisor. They'll also need to list the tasks that they carry out each day in that workplace. And there's provision also for a, an employer to complete an evaluation or provide feedback for the student to help the student better themselves and become better employees within the workplace. This, accompanied with a skills journal, um, is what they need. The skills journal has a number of questions that the students will need to be able to complete and this will be an active demonstration of the student's knowledge and understanding of the strong attributes that they will need. Attributes such as um, initiative, punctuality, reliability, these are all employability skills that are valued and will make our students better employees within the workplace in the future after they've left school. So the logbook accompanied with the skills journal following 55 hours in a workplace will allow the student to achieve one completed unit towards their waste there is available to every student the possibility of achieving up to four of these units in the course of year 11 and year 12. The hours that the student achieves will also be recorded on the student's um, academic. That's just giving you an idea of what it looks like. We've combined it and bound it into one booklet just for convenience for the students. So applying for the program, the program Unfortunately, it does have limited places. Um, it is only available to a certain number of students. And so consequently, we have um, engineered an application process. There is an application form that we ask students to complete. There's a section for students. There's also a section where we ask parents to um, fill out their opinion and their ideas of their, their child's strengths. We encourage this to be done together as a family unit to discuss it together and to help the student really think hard and give careful thought to the kind of interests that they have in industry as well as where their strengths lie. Ultimately this will help them set goals that are achievable and know what they're working towards for a better outcome at the end of the program. There's also a publication available um, um, amidst these videos that you've been able to access, there is a portion for resources. And we've um, allowed access to a digital copy of this publication, 10 ideas to help parents initiate conversations with their teens on careers. Um, I certainly wish this had been available to me a couple of years ago, but I thoroughly recommend it. it it's got some great activities and little quizzes that just help instigate those awkward conversations without getting shut down with I don't know. <laughs> so definitely a valuable resource and I recommend you have a look. If um, electronically is not convenient to you and you'd love a hard copy, feel free to send your child to the vet office. Um, the vet office is where they can also get their application form for the Vocklinks. Um, and once it's completed, we'll also conduct a little interview with the students just to assess their abilities and their capability of being a successful completion of the program. Um, thanks for listening to this presentation. If you've got any further queries or questions, please don't ever hesitate to either email, phone or actually come and visit um, Kelly Lee or myself. 
We're situated in H Block in the Upper School Student Services, the VET office, or um, just remind your child to come and see us at any stage and we'd love to talk to them and help to clear up any confusion or answer any further queries they may have. Thank you.